What's going on guys, Shivon here back with a new video. I know you've seen me talk about what's going on in the world right now. If you haven't seen my thoughts, I have it posted in my community tab. Hopefully you guys respect it. Shout out to everyone who supports the black community, helping each other to get to one, you know. It's just really hard looking at stuff on the internet right now, what's going on. I do not support all the looting that's happening and all the unlawful protest. Just protest peacefully guys and you know, we could all get to the top as one hopefully. And yeah, I just had to get that out there. But today, to brighten the mood, I have some giveaway for you guys. Now I'll be giving away, from the title of the video, as you can see, I have paper like screen protectors. Now I've been using my iPad for the past month or so and I really got into it, you know. I didn't know I would like it because this is like my second iPad ever, but I got into it. I got the Apple Pencil. I've been vibing out with it. And then I heard about paper like, you know, and it really interested me because you could feel like you're writing on paper with the iPad. I was like, I need to get this. So I reached out to paper like and they actually sent me two paper like screen protectors. And the good thing is there's two of each in here. So we have four paper like screen protectors. I only used the one, so I'll be giving away three. All you guys have to do is comment down below why you'd like to win a paper like screen protector. Also comment what iPad you have because this is only for the 11 inch iPad Pro. So yeah, it works with the 2018 and the 2020 version as long as it's the iPad Pro and it's 11 inches. And once the video hits 500 likes, I'll be doing a giveaway. Now in today's video, I just wanted to talk about my experience using the paper like screen protectors to, you know, just let you guys know what I think about it because there's so much misconceptions and so many people just wondering is it worth it and stuff like that. So hopefully by the end of this video I could help you with your purchase decisions or even you could win a screen protector. Okay so this video won't be too long so you don't have to worry. I just want to talk about my installation process, the pros and cons that I found out while using the screen protector because it's just a screen protector there's not much you could talk about. Now I just want to be real and honest with you guys my honest opinion alright. So install the screen protector was pretty simple they gave me everything I needed I got the installation kit there's also a video a dedicated review that they told me to watch on the installation guide so if you don't know how to install it you could go ahead and watch that video which was really nice of them to have a video dedicated for you to watch they also had the guided stickers they had the wet wipes they had the dust remover tool they literally have everything you needed in order to have a perfect install and if you mess one up you have one more screen protector inside there so you just do not mess up the second one because if you mess up the second one you have to buy another one but yeah installation process was very simple for me i had no issues i had a couple bubbles here and there a couple lints here and there but all i had to do just lift up the screen protector a little bit use the dust removal tool but if you're like in a dusty area i'd advise you guys to like probably go to your living room somewhere that has more space and not a lot of dust but yeah installation process 100 smooth next up i want to talk about a little pros and cons to be honest i have like three pros and one con because there's nothing really bad about the screen protector now the first thing is the protection no just the ease of mind of having a screen protector on your device you could just simply put it into your bag knowing it won't scratch and i'm a person that i just hate scratches on my screens so my phone has a screen protector my, I don't have a screen protector on my Apple Watch because I don't really look at my Apple Watch that much so I don't really care about scratches there but on my phone and my tablets and my laptop screen stuff like that it just has to be clean. Secondly is the texture. Now like artists, people in school, people like me who just like to draw for fun stuff like that you love the texture this paper like screen gives off. Now it's just it actually just feels like paper normally when you're writing or drawing with the apple pens on your ipad it normally feels glossy it feels like it just just doesn't feel natural the natural feel you get with this texture i don't know what they used it feels like they literally just have a paper on the screen the rough texture feels really nice a lot of people are worried about like the pencil wearing down after time i'm not sure about that because i've been only using it for like three to four days now but so far i haven't seen any issue where the pencil is rubbing down because of the texture it's perfect the texture is amazing it actually feels like you're writing on paper it does what it says it's doing another thing that i found out is that you have less fingerprints now normally without the screen protector the ipad literally just consumes fingerprints it looks ugly it looks mucky i have to be cleaning it every time you know guys i record videos 
So if I'm recording B-roll, I have to spend time cleaning the screen, put it up somewhere else, clean the screen again, and it's just a mess. Now, I realized that with this paper-like screen protector on it, because of the texture and the matte finish it has, I've seen a reduction of like probably 90% in terms of fingerprints on it and that's just definitely a plus for me. The iPad just looks always clean and yeah. Now let's talk about the cons. The only issue I've found with this is that it's less vibrant than before. Not like drastically where oh my god I have to take this off I can't live. You know but it just doesn't look as vibrant as it was without the screen protector. And that's the only issue I've found. And a lot of people are wondering, Chevron does it look grainy? I've heard that it looks grainy. I know their new technology that they're using, their nano dot technology. Uh, they explain it basically that they used some smaller dots, like, and it just works. That it, it doesn't look as grainy as before, like their V1. Now the V2 is their new technology, so viewing angles is amazing. It's not as grainy as before while still having that rough texture. I don't know how they do it. But it's working but yeah that was just my quick review on the paper like v2 screen protector no more fingerprints protection on your screen it's a win-win and as i said before it might be kind of expensive for some people i think it's like 30 dollars or something like that so hopefully you guys enter the giveaway i'll be giving away three for the 11th inch ipad pros as always guys i hope you enjoyed this video stay safe and yeah love peace and tweaks signing out